The number one metro with the highest positivity rate is the District of Columbia, which includes Northern Virginia and um, Maryland, Montgomery County, and PG County. So this is late January 2020 and I'm here picking up a guy at Dulles Airport. Now this guy just came in from Shanghai, China and this is like two days before they shut the airports down. I was petrified. I didn't want to pick up at the airport but I just had somebody that rode out there and it's really difficult to get back unless you get a passenger plus you know the ride pays good if you get someone going from Dulles back to DC. And all of the uh, night flights had just uh, come in. Uh, the what do they call them? The red eye or whatever. Now, ironically, I had just gotten over the worst case of what I thought was the flu, like maybe a week before this, and I wasn't even completely over it. And here's this guy from Shanghai, going all the way to College Park. Scared the hell out of me, to be honest with you. But uh, off we went. Fuck that car up, man, with some Lysol. So that was the first time I bought Lysol for the car for the pandemic. And I went on to build quite an impressive stockpile of sanitary products. By mid-March, things were getting pretty scary. People were wearing masks. They were talking about quarantines. They were just getting ready to start the quarantines and all that. So I went to delivering food because I thought that was safer. And then... It didn't take me very long to realize I was exposing myself to a lot more places and things. Although I could keep a distance, I was just highly exposed. And I thought, what can I do to make this a lot safer? And uh, finally, I came up with an idea. What this is, is it's 36 inches by 48 inch uh, plexiglass. And... It's really almost hard to see it unless you know it's there. And just that one little thing just changed everything for me. No longer were, was anything off limits. Hospitals, nursing homes. I mean, it's, it's just crazy, you know. When a nurse gets in and she says, yeah, the last five rides canceled on me. Thank you very much. I mean, for a nurse to thank me at a hospital, it just brings a tear to my eyes. But this opened up a whole new world for me. Yep. Just for Jerry. Jerry. Just for Jerry. Just for Jerry. Oh, look at this. Fantastic. A quarantine for a second, right? No. Nope. No front seat. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Apologies. No problem. Hello. Oh, oh, wonderful. You must be an engineer. Nope. That's very nice as well, yeah. So, it's over here, right? Can kind of up for it. Yeah, it used to get pretty weird back there temperature wise, so I ended oh, up installing this too. So, oh, good. Yeah, yeah. let me know if you're getting too much air, not enough air. Way to get fine, but no worries. Thank you. Honey, I'm going to keep them in the wall. Do you keep? I do. Your phone, your wallet. And your hands are going to have it. Now we're going to be on the highway, so if you feel like putting the window down, just no more than that, okay? Sure, okay, thank you. And uh, it's, it's going to be hard to hear you, so if, if I don't respond immediately, just knock on that, and then I'll know you're trying to talk to me. Okay, Otherwise, I'll assume you're just talking to yourselves. Absolutely. Okay, you. perfect. Probably one of the biggest things about uh, this whole pandem pandemic is my inability to get a haircut right now. And uh, kind of ironic because my daughter cuts hair and she doesn't want any parts of going back to work. I mean, just not even, not even a little bit. Uh, this scares the hell out of her. And me being on the road kind of is a little scary for her too. Uh, it is what it is, you know? Alright, I just dropped off 
downtown DC. Well, you know, DC, whatever. And now I gotta do this crap again. Mask selfie bullshit. Next. I do this after every single ride. All right, says dollar seventy five next trip. Sell, but it's not uh, it's not giving me that extra three dollars per ride it's talking about doing and it's not eight o'clock yet so I don't get it new message from Brooke emergency entrance please emergency entrance okay what Cova Laden Hospital am I picking up at this time? Nine minutes away. Uh, ooh, Washington Hospital Center. Yeah, this is a good one. This is the big one, man. That's where all the patients be going. All right, we'll pick it up over there. This is ground zero, baby. The ER. Come on. Adult emergency. This is the place, man. If you're going to catch COVID, you're going to catch it here. How many people canceled on this person before I took the ride? That's okay, here we go. Lock and load, baby. This is real. Hello, what's your name? Okay, how are you? I'm all right. So far be it for me to tell you what you should or shouldn't do as far as whether you want to work during this or not. I mean, if you don't have to, and you don't want to, why bother, you know? Uh, I kind of take the stand that, you know, this is what I do. I'd rather be productive than take unemployment. And that is, that's my stand. But, you know, you can stand on, you know, whatever you want to stand on. Let's see where the odd numbers are on that side. So i got to make a U-turn up here. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, if, if you don't want to drive or if you don't want to work, don't work. It, it's that simple, you know. Uh, I want to work. Uh, 
yeah, I'm afraid. Uh, you know, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie and act like I'm some hardcore person that thinks that they're invincible. Because I am definitely not invincible. Son of a bitch, don't tell me. 